Hello everyone, my name is Richard Shreve from Labour Line International. Thank you to Mark and the BAD GP committee for inviting Labour Line to sponsor their AGM once more. We were here at the very first one and I don't think we've missed an event since, so it's great to be back. Most of you, I hope, will have heard of Labour Line and know us as one of the world's leading authorised distributors of dangerous goods regulations, uh, both in book form and these days with uh, digital formats too. We also supply the full range of compliant hazard labels and placards for all classes, specified handling marks, and uh, we offer a bespoke labelling solution as well. Now, the company was started by our managing director, Keith King, nearly 30 years ago. And since then, Label Line has evolved to be the one-stop shop for dangerous goods compliance. We offer certified packaging, approved training, professional consultancy services, and dangerous goods software. Every two years, we host the Biennial Dangerous Goods Roadshow, which is a regulatory update seminar. And last year, we had to take that online, obviously, for COVID. And the Biennial Dangerous Goods Web Show uh, actually uh, brought in quite a lot of interest. And uh, we're very pleased with the response, with nearly 900 uh, registration, registrations across the three webinars. Uh, one of the benefits of being a BADGP member is that you get significant discounts from your dangerous goods regulations and labor, from Labour Line. And we're very, very pleased to have continued that again this time around. Uh, shortly, we'll also be producing the uh, 2021 edition of the Exemptions Guide to the Carriage of Dangerous Goods Regulations. This is uh, uh, an easy to read table which shows the accepted quantities and limited quantity thresholds for receptacles, packages and loads uh, for all relevant UN numbers and packing groups. But today I'd like to give you a brief demonstration of our dangerous goods software. DG Office is very easy to use and I'll show you how quickly and easily you can classify consignments and generate compliant dangerous goods documents. Obviously, having a compliant documents minimizes the risks of consignments getting snagged and the consequence of costs, both in monetary terms and reputationally. It is also surprisingly inexpensive and uh, it does meet the demands of all the primary regulations around the world. It's always compliant and it's stealthily updated when the regulations are amended. So, When you log into the system, this is the page you see. And I'm going to very quickly just go through uh, a dangerous goods note for road. And we can start with 1170, a product that's moving around quite a lot at the moment, packing group two. We'll create the documents in road. So keep your eyes on because I'm moving quite quickly. It's going from label line, it's going up to our friends in Merseyside. Click on the details. There we have it, ethanol solution. But the data is not quite there. So we've got to run what they call the packing wizard. So we run the packing wizard, click on that line, add the rows to the package. Right, we're going with pack, packing instruction number one. We're going to use a fiberboard box. We're going to have plastic bottles. You can hope, you can show all these if you want. A whole plethora of different lines, but for demonstration purposes, I'll just put the plastic bottles in here. We'll go with four of those. Uh, 20 litres, one outer. I believe that's the flash point. All of a sudden, we've now got a tick, so we can exit that. The tick is there. We can print the label. We use whatever format you've got. You preset the formats. There it is. And then you can print the document. And there is that. That's how quickly and easy it can be. Well, and that's without a lot of the pre-populated data that's already there. At this stage, you can also export the data as uh, in XML format. So this is eFreight ready, and anybody, uh, any, uh, any forwarder who's got uh, got an XML format will uh, uh, system will, will accept the data in this way. Uh, you know, for example, there's the FedEx EDI system, and all these different companies also utilize XML. So going across the top menu here, we have all the different options for the different modes of transport. Uh, we go to road, we can just have a quick look at the driver's check list for the products that we, for the consignment we've just done. Here's the driver's checklist. 
information about the product, still in limited quantities, and a whole load of other data relating to uh, the training of the vehicle, the vehicle crew, what firefighting appliances are needed. And of course, this would change depending on the consignment we're actually shipping. Uh, there's also the option here to, to print it in different languages, and we can also print if they've left it at home the instructions in writing in, let's say, Bulgarian. So, going back to the menu here, what we'll now do is create using the Dengus Quiz database again. We can add hydrochloric acid. We can type the the ship the uh, proper shipping name, or you can type in the UN number here. And that sodium hydroxide, and we'll remove the ethanol, and then we're going to see if we can just create a, a document. All the boxes will tick there. So it should be okay, except when we get to here, right, no data, we've got to run a packing wizard. What do we do with the packing wizard? Well, we're going to put these two, two into a package. Why, why not? Well, the IRTA Dangerous Goods Regulation Segregation Table says I can. DG Office says I can't. Why is that? Well, the reason is because DG Office is a little bit clever and it's worked out that these two products will cause an exothermic reaction and therefore cannot be packed together. So this is probably uh, a little bit more intuitive than, uh, than perhaps you might think for a software package. It's not just ticking the box in that respect. Uh, so the other area of importance is the own articles. If you want to search by own articles, we got a whole load that we pre-populated over the years, but if you wanted to look at, at, at that, you can add your product, the number that you wanted, straight to the consignment. Now you'll find the details of your own articles here. And if we're looking at the hand sanitizer, there's one at the top. You've got all this information, so all this data would be pre-populated into the dangerous goods now as you're as you're putting as you're making it up. So it's really useful if you're shipping the same product time and again to have this this module. Uh, the statistics module will basically give you a, a DGSA report of all the consignments of dangerous goods that have been uh, generated using DG Office will be shown on an Excel spreadsheet. Really useful tool for you DGSAs out there. And we then look at the advisor modules, that's just for training purposes. It keeps up to date people's courses and reminders of when they're, uh, they're due for renewal. And the company register is where you keep your company data and those of all your consignees. Um, the user information here, this controls what level of expertise that people have and access to the system. Well, I'm set up as an administrator. I'm also set up as an expert in all these modes, so it does tell lies as well sometimes in system, but uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, that's just the way I set it up. Um, what this does allow you to do though is actually add in extra details uh, that you would like to do if, uh, if you do have the, uh, the confidence to do that. DG Office will only generate compliant documents though. And you've also got access in here for own sentences, uh, your own technical names and so on. So we have here in settings, very important area, uh, particularly for setting up your documents. So you can have the red and white stripes if you want. Um, and in road, you can choose the regulations that you want to work to. So you've got ADR, you've got 49 CFR, you've got ADG, and you've got TDG regulations. Automatically, it will normally it will log in and default to the regulations that are pertaining to the country into which you log in from. And of course, there are all these other changes as well for uh, for C. And they're also adaptable for both company and user. 
So in a nutshell, that is really uh, BG Office. If you'd like a free trial, please feel free to contact me and uh, we can set you up a 30 day free trial with no obligation. All right, thank you for your time. Uh, enjoy the rest of the AGM. Thank you.